off. Before I spray it, I gotta wipe all the dust off. This has just been sitting on the shelf because it, it can make your terracids not stick to your pond. So I've got a clean towel. I have to make sure that my hands are always staying dry. Once I've sprayed this pot, I'm gonna have to pick it up like this so that I don't leave any fingerprints because if I do that on the wet pot, it's gonna show up this big thumbprint. And even cotton gloves leave, would probably leave debris of some sort? Um, cotton gloves would probably be fine. Problem is, um, when you're spraying, you're doing stuff like this, you're picking up containers, you drip, yeah. you drip on your pot, guess what? It's gonna show. Um, so I'm spraying really light layers. I don't wanna get the gun really close and have it run in it, because it's gonna show. Some things will cover it up, you know, the way that I do, the decoration will cover it up, but I don't want to start that way. I want to start with a nice, clean, shiny surface. So you want to find something to jack your piece up off the wheel. See how that stuff sitting on the wheel? If your pot sits in that, it's going to look really ugly and soak the foot. Soft t-shirts work really good. So anything that I'm gonna pick up that might drip on my pot, I always want to kind of get rid of that. Keep a nice clean towel, keep your soft polishing cloths out of the way. If you drop that on the floor, don't pick it up and think that you're gonna polish your pot because you might get a piece of grit and the next thing you know you've got all these scratches in the pot. You did all this work to get this beautiful, nice shiny surface, so you don't want to do this works really well too if you have something with texture. So if you if you chatter, or if you've you know you've got you know, uh, what did you put on slip? Yeah, something like that. Spraying works really good because you can get in all the little tiny crevices. It works really good. It, it actually works better than a brush. All right. So. I never take my finger off this thing until I make sure it's going to stay there. Cool. All right, now I'm going to make a lot of noise. So I'm going to be back about this far. I don't want to be right here. That's going to give me a drip. already starting to, to polish up. Some people will use a plastic bag, but if you've got a crease in the plastic bag, you may cut your piece. So again, we, we did all of this work to get this thing beautiful, shiny. We don't want to do that. So up and down, that was one cup. I want to at least three. Don't 
wear a jacket with a zipper? <laughs> Trust me, I've done all this. switch on, everything comes on. Compressor, the light, the So fan. we just heard the noise at the end. It shuts off. That, that was the compressor because he used so, so much uh, air, yeah. so then the compressor is recharging. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, okay. See? <laughs> oh, yeah. I know nothing. <laughs> yeah, everything's wired up so it all comes on at the same time. So now you can really see the nice shiny surface. If you touch it, I'll scream like you can't believe. Scaring <laughs> 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 is believing. Yeah. So, like I said, some people will use a bag, plastic bag, but that's pretty good. That's pretty nice and shiny right there. And that'll stay through um, through your bisque. So right now, well, that terracidge on there is still fairly soft. You want to put that away. So basically what I'm going to do, this is how I'm going to pick up my pot. Sometimes you get a really fragile pot and make a really thin lip. Don't just go like that and pick it up by the rim because you're going to get half your pot in your hand. So support the bottom, kind of reach inside, you know, and then, and then put your pot away. Okay? Not we'll get too your, <laughs> that's it. We'll get your clay, get your wheels.